Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about my top tips for relaxation. If you take anything away from this video, it's just to take a little bit of time every day to do something relaxing for yourself. So first I have to talk about meditation because meditation has changed my life. I have done a video dedicated to meditation tips for beginners, so I will link that. If you've never done it before, meditation for me is just taking the time to be present in the moment and if you're fully present in the moment you can't help but be relaxed because you're not stressing about the past and you're not worrying about the future you're just being in the moment in the present and it's the most freeing feeling ever so i highly recommend you practice meditation. My next favorite way to relax my mind is to journal every morning I get up and I write down three things that I'm grateful for and journaling is a great way to brain dump because I personally find if I go to bed and my mind is still active, I can't relax and I can't switch off. But if you get all those thoughts out onto paper, even if it's a to-do list, sometimes writing everything you have to do down the day after will put your mind at rest and at ease because you know it's gonna get done, it's on a list. As cliche and obvious as it sounds, sleep is the best form of relaxation. When you're tired, it's so much harder to relax, believe me. I, am, I have been there many times. When you're sleep deprived, it's impossible to take a deep breath and stay calm. You're pretty much inevitably gonna get stressed and it just makes the situation 10 times worse. I personally find when I'm in a good schedule, as in I'm getting up and I'm going to bed at a similar time frame every night, that is the best way to get enough sleep because you can make sure you're in bed in good time to fall asleep and get enough. And because your, bod your body likes a schedule, you know, your body clock is a real thing. Your body really knows when it's time to go to bed and time to get up. Caffeine, let's talk about caffeine. I am not anti-caffeine. I probably drink too much myself. My cup of tea is like a spiritual experience for me. I'm not saying don't have tea, don't have coffee or any caffeine, but be mindful of your intake of caffeine. Caffeine remains in your bloodstream for eight hours after you've consumed it, which means that if you're going to bed, with lots of caffeine still in your system from like the late afternoon or evening, then your brain is still gonna be stimulated, which is gonna prevent you from getting that restful sleep and also probably preventing you from feeling tired in the evening. Just respect caffeine for what it is. It's a stimulant, it's a drug and just moderate your intake of it. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is relaxation aids and there's so many things you can do. I personally love to create a relaxing environment in my room in the evening so when I know I'm getting ready for bed I turn my main lights off and I put my lamp on. Lights signal the sun and the daytime to your brain so if it's darker then your brain knows that it's evening and it's time to start switching off. I love caffeine free herbal tea in the evening Peppermint is my favourite, but a lot of people drink chamomile because it's known to be more relaxing. I personally prefer the taste of peppermint. Sleep mists and aromatherapy oils are incredible as well. Lavender and other essential oils that are again known to be relaxing. And just like one sniff of this, you can't help but feel relaxed. It smells so good. Even if you're at your desk at work and you have a stressful meeting, or you're just feeling overwhelmed and you just need to take a breather, your brain will make that link between because scent is so powerful. So I'm sure there's loads of other things I've not mentioned, so please leave your recommendations and suggestions below. I'm sure we will all love to read them. If you like health and wellbeing lifestyle videos, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know and I will do lots more in the future. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I make videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I would love to see you on my next one. I will also have all my social media links below so you can follow me and we can chat on there outside of YouTube and I will see you in my next video. Bye!